this is my first morning to be at the church alone. Interesting. It's never fun to be here by yourself, but it's okay. I thought about um, what I was going to talk about. Um, I do communion every single morning at 6 o'clock if someone's with me. If no one's with me, I don't do communion because it just doesn't feel right. It seems like someone should be with you when you do communion. So I don't do it. I know there are lots of people who share communion on their own. I don't. I'm not one of those. But this morning's devotion I was going to teach is from Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 2, nine, and it's on, I has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. I'm sorry, that's 1 Corinthians 2.9. And I thought about that because as a kid, I was the kind of guy who liked to ride in the back of the station wagon and not fall asleep the whole time while my siblings were bouncing around, my little sister was up front with mom and dad. And I didn't want to fall asleep even when mom and dad would say, oh, Eric, you should sleep. It's a long journey all the way across the country or all the way across the desert to Phoenix, wherever we were going. And I would want to keep my eyes open the entire time because I didn't want to miss a single thing. And so I always was saying and talking and that kid just always going 100 miles a minute because I didn't want to miss anything. And I don't know how you live your life if you keep your eyes open or if you don't mind missing something. If you don't mind if stuff just comes and goes and you just miss it. I don't like missing things. And so I keep my eyes open constantly for the spectacular now. I believe in the spectacular now. I keep believe all around us spectacular things are happening. Just last night, we were on our way home from the streets. It was, I don't know, 11.30, something like that, a quarter to 12. We were driving along the 60, coming eastbound towards Riverside. The moon was behind the clouds, so you couldn't see this nearly full moon. I think it's full tomorrow night. But it was shining still, and there were no clouds over the mountains, which are covered, the San Gabriel Mountains, Mount Baldy and all the others, covered in snow. And so here we're at 11.20 at night, or 11.30 at night, whatever, and this glorious snowscape of the mountains just shining and beaming out because of the moon hitting it. And we drove along the freeway, and it just was mesmerizing. And it attracted us to want to see it and see this mystery and this miracle of God in the darkness, snow, just shining out as if it were clouds in the distance. For each of us, there's something amazing that happens every single day if we're only willing to look for it. If we're only willing to open our eyes and believe that in this moment, the communion that we have with God isn't about grape juice or matzo bread broken to represent his blood and his body, but it's often just about what we're seeing in this moment. It's a spectacular now, for I has not seen nor ear heard what God has prepared for the heart of man. God has prepared an incredible day for you. My prayer for you this morning is that you would open your eyes to this incredible day, that you would share in the very, very best of it. In the Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church, they teach in something called transubstantiation. They teach that there's a little bell that rings during the Mass, during the service, and in that moment, the bread, the juice, becomes the literal body and the literal blood of Christ Jesus. We don't believe that. I don't believe that. Um, God bless them for them believing. I've got no quarter with them for believing it. I just I don't believe it. I believe it's bread. I believe it's grape juice. That in the moment that we share in it together, we're in communion, and in that communion, our hearts Our spirits, our eyes are open to the spectacular now that God has prepared for us. My prayer today for you this morning in this place is that your heart, your ears, your eyes would be open to what God in advance has already prepared for you, that you might see it, that you might enjoy it, and that you might celebrate today. I know I look sleepy. It's only been a few hours since I got home and went to bed, so I'm going to go home go back to bed. Hope you have a fantastic day off. Happy President's Day. Happy President's Day. I hope you're taking the day off. Hope you're having some fun. Enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. God bless you.